Many elements in the design you see here come from the AutoCAD environment. What that's led to is a poor performing design. If I go to File and File Size, we can see that the file size here is 1.6 megabytes in size. And that's a very big drawing file for quite a small amount of information. So what I'm first going to do with this design is use one of the relatively new tools in GCAD Plus and go to the Tools drop down and we'll purge unused objects. Perhaps before I do that, we can have a look at Format and text styles. You can see the whole lot of unused text styles here. We'll have a look at dimensions just to see if there are any dimensions that are being carried across. And there's one for stairs and annotative and CAD block. So some are coming across. If we come in here, look at the large number of layers there. The grey layers are not used, they just they come from AutoCAD or from a survey package or whatever and there's nothing on them. Um, perhaps if we go all used layers, um, there, it's a small subset of a much larger set of layers. So what we can do is use that tool, tools and purge unused objects 20 layers, 4 textiles and 37 blocks have been purged and I'll save the drawing in a moment but you can see it takes a finite time to save and if we now save file and file size we've reduced our file size by a significant amount but not huge we've gone from 1.6 to 1.4 so we still have to work out quite why this design is not behaving how we want it. It's not slick. Well, this drawing displays very slowly. Zooming in and out is really tedious. Let's try and find out the reason for it. If I select any one of the symbols, and remember these have come from the AutoCAD environment, and notice that the over here the name of that block ends in 7F, and if we edit that block, and I select, remember I'm theoretically inside the block, and pick it, I get another block that's identical but with a different name. So let's close the block editor. So the drawing, this drawing has every symbol doubled up. So we could reduce the file size significantly by cleaning up the blocks in the drawing, making them simple blocks, maybe use the ones that come with GCAD Plus and substitute. Well, one other thing to watch for when you have to accept a drawing from AutoCAD is watch the basic units. There's a pathway running here. Let's just check its width. Most paths will be 900 mil or about a meter. That one reads 1.0. So this drawing's actually been done in meters. It's quite possibly have come from a surveyor who works in meters. So our next step is to scale this drawing up by a factor of a thousand so that we can work with it in the GCAD Plus environment. Well I've now rescaled the drawing by a thousand so if we now measure width of doorways we get uh, values that are close to our 750. Let's just come in here so roughly from one side to the other 747 whatever the standard width of doorway that's now reading correctly and I imagine that the path width now will be one side to the other. We'll now read 900, 922. So I'm happy now the drawing's been scaled properly. I've got rid of all of the symbols because you know every one of those symbols is poorly made and everything is doubled up. Now remember that we had a file size of 1620 kilobytes when we started. And if we go file and file size now, 78, so a phenomenal reduction. And you notice how quickly I can move and pan the drawing. We've got some overlaps and some sloppy drawing to fix up, but things are going smoothly. And we need to get some plant symbols in, so we could say, go to blocks and 
we'll add from another file and I'll put in one of the compound groups that comes with GCAD Plus and insert them into the drawing and in they go. So now there's a block containing a whole lot of symbols that we could use. There are many other blocks and we can explode those. So those symbols are now ready to be dragged into position like so, scaled if needs be, copied and dealt with. So we can easily bring up the design and, and finish the design up off if this is a water feature. It's a polyline so we can apply a fill and a colour to it. So I hope you see that if you are going to work with AutoCAD drawings you really do have to pay some attention. It is far better to start from scratch. By all means use the AutoCAD drawing as a base but then do your design work in GCAD Plus.